I'd like to show you two more question types. And the first is going to be a numerical answer option. So in previous videos, we've covered our multiple choice. A true false is very similar to the multiple choice, uh, even though I didn't cover it uh, specifically. We did fill in the blank, fill in multiple blanks and a matching option. Then also video dedicated to essay question and file uploads so that students could actually uh, upload files from either Google or their hard drive. So in this video, I'd like to cover numerical answer. Now, this is going to be very similar to a fill in the blank, except obviously it's only going to take numerical answers and you won't have to decide and come up with every single option a student might enter. You can give them an error margin. So we may have an exact, exact answer of maybe 2.12, but I'm going to give them a little bit of wiggle room. Kids sometimes round early in the problem. Uh, they understand the concept, they're just a little bit off. And Canvas is very specific, right? If, especially if you use a fill in the blank, it's got to be 2.12. So here it enables you to give a little wiggle room without having to put in every possible answer. Another option within numerical answer is to answer within a range. So maybe you're going to give them anywhere between 8 and 10, and you're going to accept that as an answer. The last option here is to answer with precision. So we give an exact answer, and that precision number is significant significant digits that you are requiring. So answering with precision. So I'm going to update this question and I will go back and edit when I show in a final video what this looks like from the student view. But I'm going to add a formula question and show you how, how to set one of these up. So what this will enable you to do is generate a random equation each time a student views this quiz question. And it enables you to do that without creating quiz banks. It happens right here and it's set up by you ahead of time. There's some front end work here um, and let me walk you through it. So we'll try a simple equation, 2x plus uh, 5 equals 10. And if I want students to see a different equation every time they open this quiz question, then maybe I want 10 to be randomized. So I'm going to use brackets as that indicator for this question that that's going to be my variable. So as soon as I put something like that in brackets and hit enter, then it opens all of these options for me. My variable is here as a one and currently the values between one and 10 will replace this a one each time a, a quiz is opened. So, I can change this to negative values. I can change it to uh, using some decimal places. So uh, really increasing the number of values that A1 might be. And so what I'm going to do is give, my, give myself an example value to work from. So it's saying, you know what? The next time this is open, A1 is going to be equal to six. So my next step is to define that formula. And what that means is I'm going to take the equation that I have, I'm going to solve for X in terms of A1. So when I do that, I'm not going to put an equal sign or anything. I'm not typing in X equals this. I'm going to just write the expression. So we know that the first step is going to be we subtract 5 from A1. And notice I'm not using brackets. 
I know eventually there I'm going to divide by two, so I need to follow an order of operations. And that's my formula. And what this is doing is it's solving that so that you don't have to grade it. Canvas is going to grade it for you. So now, as soon as I click save, it's going to give me a result. Now, I may need to offer decimal places so that we get the exact answer. Now, how many possible solutions do I want to build or want Canvas to build in my quiz? You know, let's say 20. And also give an error margin here, just like I could in that numerical answer option. So when I click generate, this quiz now is going to offer 20 different possible values for A1 and solutions that it's going to grade for you. So it's a really nice option. And, and you um, might be thinking, you know, that formula expression or defining that formula can get very complicated. But, you know, you're mathy. That's why you're watching this. Uh, it is some work in the beginning, but it really is nice because it randomizes this question for kids.